I kind of came uh, to Capitol through a, maybe a little different uh, route than most people. Uh, I'm actually a pharmacist, and uh, when I graduated from pharmacy school, I decided I wanted to go to law school. Uh, I found most of the attorneys that I was dealing with at the time didn't really understand health care, and I thought it'd be a good uh, combination with a health care administrative training and a law degree. And Capitol University offered me a great opportunity to take advantage of that at the time. Uh, I needed to work full time uh, to support a young family and so being able to start in the evening program was a great opportunity for me. I think it's a great opportunity uh, to, to, for someone to take a health, uh, health education background or experience in health, uh, the health industry uh, or life science industry and combine that with a law degree. Uh, roughly 18% of the gross national product is healthcare services today and the population is getting older, there's more demand on healthcare services. I, I think there's a lot of opportunities for healthcare lawyers in the future. I think that, uh, first of all, I think having an interest in the healthcare profession is important and on understanding the industry. Uh, that's been a big advantage for me, uh, to understand the industry, keep up with it, and be able to help become a problem solver for healthcare clients. I think all clients should, should be treated as you would like to be treated yourself. And, you know, I prefer uh, if it, young attorneys can put themselves in the position of listening to their clients first, helping to solve problems, and try to become part of the solution instead of being viewed as many lawyers are, I think, as, as part of an expense, maybe a necessary expense, but be part of the solution. I think in our healthcare practice, we've tried to uh, be very creative, provide our healthcare clients with new ideas. And so in many ways, we're not only used as lawyers, but also as consultants.